What's up guys, you are looking at my faceless ranger right now, and yes, I don't know what it is with me, I don't know what's wrong with me, but this is the third deer I've hit this year. I am not a hunter, I don't have any interest in hunting, and the one time I went deer hunting, never saw a thing. But I go through one drive, go for one drive through Illinois, and I somehow managed to find a deer, somewhere. Uh, of course it is deer season, so the deer are out and about, but... Yeah, I've got everything taken apart. It really did a number on it this time. I got lucky the last two times. It was just a grill, straightening the bumper and the fender, and another one was uh, the header panel and a couple lights. But this one really did a number on it. Uh, as you can see, I've got the driver's side front fender off. Uh, I'm going to have to straighten the bumper again. The header panel is destroyed. The grill's cracked. Uh, my It took out the driver's side light and... Uh, parking lamp slash turn signal uh, it damaged the hood and also uh, I, th I have a feeling it bent the door a little bit so I'm gonna have to repair that I gotta put new hinges in it anyways it's kinda rubbing a little bit not lining up properly oh it bent this uh, it bent this hood bracket too so I had to straighten that out there's all the parts that were still salvageable up there all the parts that were destroyed are in here. Um, as you can see, grill's cracked. Got a nice big crack in the grill there. I took my Ford emblem off, put that on the new grill because apparently that doesn't come with one. But all this is broke here. That's all broke. Uh, here's the header panel. It's toasted. <laughs> uh, that's all junk. Trashed. Here's a fender. Driver's side fender. So you can see it did a number on it. It's all dented up. I was able to save the Ranger logo too, so that's one less thing I have to buy. And the hood. There's a little four-pointer buck that I hit. Damaged the hood right there, so you can see... It's bent, and then the antlers actually dug into it right up there, as you can see. So, it was a mess. It was a pretty good impact, too. I was only going like 40, 50 miles an hour. The only problem with this truck is it does not have four-wheel ABS. It only has rear-wheel ABS. So, even though these aren't the greatest tires, they've still got plenty of... Uh, plenty of tread left on them and I was just going with them anyway you know it's just a daily driver work truck but uh, yeah I got some nice little uh, nice little couple flat spots there hopefully I'll be able to get those uh, worn down over time but you can definitely see where it was skidding on the tires there that sucks but other than that the truck is in great shape that's why I've fixed it for the third time now. <laughs> it's almost starting to be worth it to just get comprehensive insurance instead of just liability. But, oh well, I can do the work. I got a good price on the parts. Just got to get them painted and good to go. Got 184000 on this truck. Two point slow, has no power whatsoever, but it also has no problems whatsoever. <laughs> I have not had a single problem with this truck. It's great. I love it. It's just a good little daily driver to throw around, trash around, and stuff like that. And I beat the heck out of it, and it keeps running. <laughs> so, yeah, runs good. No complaints. Body's in great shape. No rust. I figure, why not keep it going? So, there we go. Make another vid when my parts finally come in, which hopefully will be soon. Dang, dear. <laughs>